So OpenAI ChatGPT is all the rage right now. And forgive my look and forgive my setup. <laughs> I was not ready to record this video today. But did you know you could actually have ChatGPT straight into your PowerShell console just like this? You can just go and ask your question in your PowerShell console and it doesn't take a lot of time. We could do this in less than five minutes. So this is how it looks like in my console. I just say ask OpenAI is a question and say what is the best dinosaur? I'm pretty sure I spelled it wrong. But... And then we get an answer. There is no single best dinosaur. Different dinosaurs were the best at different things. Some of the most well-known and impressive dinosaurs include the Tyrannosaurus rex, Triceratops, Stegosaurus, and Velociraptor. Right here, right in my console. Do you want something even cooler? Look. We can do something like this. Let's be like, write a PowerShell function to restart my computer. Like that. And then, boom. We've got a function to restart our computer. You want to remote into a list of computers and install software. Ta-da! Now, obviously, you have to look at what the code is being generated, but, but, look at that. Look at it. Look at it. PowerShell right in there. I don't even have to leave PowerShell. I can just copy paste this into my console and I have this function available. Isn't that great? Okay, now let me show you how you can do this too. So this way you can ask OpenAI whatever you want. So one thing to know about the ChatGPT is just OpenAI's API in the back end. The difference between what I'm going to show you and what uh, ChatGPT is, is that mine you have to pay for what you use in ChatGPT you don't, but you don't have ChatGPT in your PowerShell console. You're not ready to go, right? So this is the best that you can have. So in order to do this, what we're going to do is we're going to go to OpenAI's website. So OpenAI.com, we're going to click on API. We're going to sign up. I'm already signed up, so click sign up, go through the process. You're probably going to have to give your credit card. But I'm going to log in with my Microsoft account, which is the same I use for Azure and all that stuff, which makes it a lot easier. I'm logged in. Now we go to your name in the top right corner, personal, view API keys. And here you can create a new secret. Right? You have a new key created and you're good to go. Once we have that, what we're going to do is we're going to go here. We're going to go to my GitHub repo that I am going to put in the description right here. You can go and find it. And here I have functions. I have GPT, uh, which is the one you just saw, Ask OpenAI, where you can uh, have that function to ask the questions. I also have one because uh, for DALI. Uh, DALI is the image generator. So to show you how this works, we can go back. So here we say new Dell E image. We say prompt and we say a sea turtle playing soccer. We say open and we say save because I want to open and save. Oh, and images, you want to count of images you want to create. We're just going to create one just for showing. And then it's going to go and create a new image about a sea turtle playing soccer for us. Now, this is not great art, but if you want art on demand from PowerShell, boom, you have that too. Now, how does this work? How do you make it happen? Easy. You go in here, you can download the, you can clone the repo, you can download whatever you want. 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, I'm going to go to GPT, ask OpenAI. We're going to copy this, right? You're going to take this function. You're going to copy it. You're going to read it first. You're going to make sure that everything in there is legit and I'm not giving you viruses because you don't just copy code from the internet. We go into our profile. If you don't have, if you don't know how to edit your profile, the variable is profile right here, dollar sign profile, and it gives you uh, the path of your user profile. If you have Visual Studio Code, you can just do code profile, and it will open it up, and uh, you can edit it. Now my profile is already open, so I don't really need to do anything else. Now, these functions are already created, but all you have to do is copy and paste them here. Boop. That's it. You just copy, paste, and now it's in your profile. Now, the only other thing you have to do is here, you also need this variable, which is uh, the OpenAI key, right? It's right here at the top, my key. Take that put your key that you generated from here, from your OpenAI key. And now you have it in your profile. All you have to do is you have, if you have a PowerShell session open is either close and reopen, or you can just do, you can just do dot profile. And this will dot source your profile that will reload it. This is my profile. There's my stuff, but see, now you have the new Dell E image right here. And I also have Ask OpenAI right here. And that's how you do it. Super easy. Now, I highly encourage you to look at the code. I highly encourage you to look at the, you know, the body, the URL, right? I encourage you to look at how it's done. Also, go here. Go to documentation on OpenAI. And you have all the documentation, the API ref reference, and what we're using here is the completion. That's it. Really, that just that simple. Completion. Read the documentation, do your own. And um, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.